So every year in December, we we do like a gathering whereby we do a meditation and a Reiki sending to everybody in the group and anybody that listens afterwards. And essentially, the idea is to put us in that really open universal life force frame of mind so that we can write our ideal scene. So the ideal scene is essentially a really powerful law of attraction tool. Um, We're going to do it a little bit different today because my feeling is that law of attraction is actually in the, the midst of a huge shift as well. And so I'm going to talk a little bit more about that as well and play around with this. If you've been doing the ideal scene with me for many years, you might just want to stick with your tried and tested method if that always works for you, but also just pay attention to some of the stuff I'm saying and see if that also resonates. So essentially, um, the ideal scene pre-COVID, what we would do is we'd put ourselves into a really high vibrational state with the Reiki. Uh, We would gather physically to do this. And then essentially we would kind of get ourselves into this, into this really open frame of mind. And then we would write now the writing, the way to do it. And I still recommend you do this is you date the page a year on. So uh, where are we? We're Monday, the, the 6th. So you would date it the 6th of December, 2022. And then, so at the top of the page, and then you're writing a list of things that have happened to you over the year as if it's already happened. So the the reason we do that is because law of attraction is really about bringing our vibration up into the already have, not the wants and the needs and the why don't I have it yet, but actually bringing the the universal life force or the direction or the alignment into your vibration as you've already got it. It's already happened. It's already in process. um, and And there is a great deal of momentum that goes behind that because the universe doesn't always know what's kind of in the mind and what's imagined and what's actually real. So often with law of attraction, what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring our vibration up to the same level as meeting wherever it is that we want to go, whatever it is we want to have. So that's kind of the trick that we're using, if you like. It's a trick of our subconscious of directing the energy into a space or into um, a way of being or certain values we might have or really tangible material things that we want to bring into our lives. Yeah. So that's old law of attraction, the way we were writing the ideal scene. So I'm going to just suggest a few things that I think are going on with the whole COVID, the pandemic, the pandemic, sorry, the the new earth energy that's starting to come in that I think is starting to shift the way law of attraction is working. So one of the one of the things that I think is really very different is the in the old days, it was like law of attraction would come from the mind and we would project it out. So, for example, writing your ideal scene, you write your ideal scene. Let's say you want to you want to attract a, a career or a job or maybe even something as deep as life purpose or directionality into your vibration. So you would actually write it on paper, right? To, I I have found my perfect job and it pays so well and it's amazing. And I work with this amazing group of people and you would write all that down and then you would kind of project into it through the mind. So there was kind of the mind came up with what you wanted and then you would project it forwards. Now, again, I'm talking pre-COVID, what my sense is now with the new earth energy or the new, if you want to call it the new self-authorizing principle that's starting to really emerge for many of us is essentially this feeling of actually there is something bigger going on and there is a paradigm shift in the way that that something is starting to evoke through us. So 
what I've noticed in, in myself is that I, I need to almost rein myself in. My head is kind of wanting to do things and wanting to achieve things and, and panicking and anxious because there's nothing to hang on to. So for many of us, we're kind of feeling that anxiety of there's no real uh, structure anymore. Like we, we can't guarantee even next week whether or not we're going to be in another lockdown, whether this is going to happen, that's going to happen. So there's a huge amount of uncertainty in the system. And so it's very difficult for our minds to plan and to have something in place. Now, if you drop the mind and you come into, I'm going to say the patience or the waiting of the body system, and really get quiet and still, it might well feel like a cauldron. This is why I was saying um, before we started the recording, sometimes when you're doing your Reiki practice, it might feel like there's this bubbling cauldron of, of all kinds of emotional energy, all kinds of shifting energy. Now that's actually showing you something, right? And it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's actually showing you that there is an enormous amount of work in progress right now in our physical systems and also in our external environments and in our movement forward. So part of this bringing 2022 into being for yourself is when we go into the meditation and you have an opportunity to get quiet and to get a bit more still, is instead of asking what the mind wants, like what I want, actually shift it to where is my movement? And I say that, and I don't know whether you can grasp this, but the movement in your own system is not thought led. It's energy led, it's vibration led. And it may well be saying, stop. Right? It may well be saying it's not time to do anything yet. You have to wait. And then there's a part of you that knows you have to wait. And then there'll be another part of you up here going, no, 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 no we can't wait. We have to plan. We have to. <laughs> and then there's this kind of misfit that happens, which is where a lot of our anxiety comes from, because we're moving in two opposite directions. Our body system is saying, relax, I'm literally like, relax, it's fine. Just enjoy. It's Christmas, you know, chill. And then our minds are going crazy and trying to push and force something that isn't ready yet. So this idea, this analogy of the cauldron, of the building of the soup, of the putting in the ingredients, of everything bubbling around, you know, if you, if you cook a soup, you know, you can't just start eating it before it's really had time to cook properly and all the flavors have come out and it's ready to eat. So this idea of dropping in and seeing, okay, what's actually happening? Am I cooking? Like, am I, am I just, just stewing on something? Is there, is there something being prepared that I just need to let evolve, that I just need to let emerge? Or am I ready to move? And if you're ready to move and you drop in, there will be a great clarity of that. Like, this is what I need to do next. And you'll feel the system will feel aligned. It will feel congruent and it will just be obvious. It'll be obvious what the next steps are. It'll be obvious what you need to do next. So again, if there's any confusion in the system, then I think it's quite helpful to just assume you're cooking, right? <laughs> like, like you just assume that there is still processes. There's still a lot of things that are going on globally that have an enormous impact on us. And we have no control over that. Even though our minds may feel very upset about that, it is actually a truth. So I think part of the ideal scene maybe is just to, to really be open to what comes up in the meditation for you. And then when we complete the meditation together and the healing, I, I would recommend that we all just drop off the call. If you want to type a little bye in the chat, that's fine. But I, I would actually really recommend that you finish and then you just open your journals, open your paper, whatever it is, and then just write and see what comes out through the innate wisdom of your body intelligence. Like, I think your 
body intelligence at the moment has a lot more information for you than the mind. The mind is behind. It's going to be years before the mind catches up. Honestly, it's in such shock that the coming into our energetic truth is where we're going next. This is 2022, right? It's the energetic vibrational light that we are shining out that will really bring this kind of new energy to settle and for us to know more directly what, where it is we're supposed to be going. So I'm going to invite trust, try and drop away, <clears throat> away from the, the mind's noisiness and just see what comes out. Really trust, just see what comes out. Now, it doesn't mean if you write a bunch of absolute rubbish, it doesn't actually matter. You know what I mean? You might look at it and go, well, that's mental. Or you might just set it to one side and then look at it in a year's time and it might amaze you. And often the ideal scene is like that. People will write stuff and half the stuff they write won't even make any sense to them. And then a year later, they'll open their little diaries or their journals or wherever they wrote it and they'll read it and there'll be so much resonance with what they wrote. It's why we do it every year, because so many people find this so powerful direction. And then, as I said, when I complete, um, I, I really invite you just to, to log off the call and then write. And so what you're writing is you're putting at the top of the page, the 6th of December, 2022. And then you're writing, it could almost be like you're writing to your best friend or you're writing to your higher self or your guardian angel or, or just your diary, right? Like dear diary, this is all the amazing things that have come to pass this year. If you want to be specific, you can, but if you prefer to just kind of have a, a, a feeling into the essence of what is coming out for you in the meditation. And there might be some very, a lot of clarity that comes out as well, that you just write it all down. Um, and if not, if it's more just a, a feeling of certain emotions or a feeling of certain values that come up, um, certain certainties, then you just write that as well. So to see what comes out of the page for you. So just starting to come into Gasho, prayer pose in front of the heart center. And it's funny, actually, I'm looking at the clock and it's 12.22 as we do our meditation for 2.022. As you bring your hands into Gasho, also opening the crown chakra, imagining a thousand petaled lotus on the top of your head. And just imagine it's opening fully, allowing in the Reiki attunement, the heart attunement. And you can visualize you're breathing that energy down into the heart center and you're breathing it out into the hands themselves, expanding that Reiki out of the hands. And then placing your hands anywhere on your body that feels comfortable. You could have them over the heart center and the sacral. Or you could just have them on your knees, on your lap. But somewhere where the palms are face down on your own body, giving yourself Reiki. And tuning in now to everybody else on the call. If you're Reiki 2 or above, just starting to send healing to everybody that is listening to this call now or in future, amplifying our Reiki energy together. And as we amplify it, you're also breathing. Every exhale, you're just relaxing the body Focusing up into the face, relaxing the eyes, the cheek, the jaw, all the way down the neck, the shoulders. 
all the way down the arms to the hands and fingers, noticing any sensations with the Reiki. Then down into the chest, watching the breath. And if it feels erratic, if it feels cauldrony, just really allowing that to be as it is, not trying to change it in any way. Bringing the attention down into the belly, the sacral, the base, the solar plexus. All of these chakras are having quite a hard time at the moment. So with great gentleness, with great ease, just breathing in, relaxing the belly, softening it all the way down into the hips. All the way down through the legs to the feet. And if your feet are on the floor, imagining the soles of the feet opening and shafts of light or energetic pulsations coming down into the floor all the way into Mother Earth. And as you ground in, shooting out roots, anchoring yourself, And now breathing that energy, that Mother Earth energy back up into your system on the inhale. You might visualize a deep red color or any other color or colors that resonate all the way up through the feet. Deep into the root chakra at the base of the spine. Anchoring yourself very deeply with Mother Earth. feeling the support. Noticing how steady and stable you feel when you're anchored. And as you work up into the sacral chakra, noticing any sensations again with no judgment, just observing, inviting healing. You may imagine a beautiful orange color bathing around the sacral chakra, around the belly button and below. Perhaps expanding it all the way through your energy system. That creative source. Moving up into the solar plexus, just under the rib cage, a brilliant yellow color. If it feels tight, stressed, just observing once again with no judgment. Asking for healing and alignment if it's ready.
moving up into the heart center, beautiful green color, right deep in the center of the chest. You may even want to visualize its own flower, blossoming, blooming, opening. up into the throat, a deep blue, noticing its quality today, being okay with however it's feeling, whether it's open and expressive or feeling closed and tight. Whatever is appearing is perfectly fine. And now up into the third eye, behind the forehead, beautiful indigo, extending it out from your forehead out in front of you. almost like a beam of light, like a torchlight, lighting the way for you. And finally, up to the thousand petaled lotus in the crown, noticing your connection with the Reiki energy up into the cosmos, Expanding your body, grounded at the base, extended up to the cosmos through the crown. And just notice in your expanded energy. Settling the system now, out into the aura, noticing the light, expanding your aura, maybe another foot or two, maybe even more. Just to where it's comfortable. And we're going to ask for support from the new earth energy, from the underlying vibration of all these shifts. Or it may feel more comfortable to ask for direct help from universal life force itself. Or perhaps guardian angels, guides, whatever you're working with. Asking for healing, for Reiki, balance, harmony. Asking for the mind to settle, to rest. Imagine yourself filling up now with universal life force.
breathing out any tension. Releasing anything that is no longer required. Paradigms, belief systems, structures. Old ways of thinking or being. Keep holding the intention, complete rejuvenation, grounding, expansion. As if you are merging with universal life force itself. And as you expand into it, starting to become aware if there's any movement within you, not from the head or the thinking, but deep in the gut, from the sacral chakra, And there may be no movement whatsoever, just a deep stillness. Or there may be a very slight shift in direction, like a small orientation. Or you may notice a flow, a torrent, a definite movement of energy. But noticing for yourself exactly where you are. and accepting that gift, whatever it is. And noticing if there's any resistance to that information, whether it's stillness, whether it's a very slight shift in direction, or whether it's a definitive movement forwards, fully accepting it with your entire body, your mind, your heart, bringing everything into alignment. And when alignment happens, that same energy will start to expand. Perhaps the stillness will start to rise through your whole body. Or the feeling of movement. Just watching with curiosity and openness.
keep bringing in that alignment, expanding it out into all the cells, out into the aura. You may be given certain directionality, images, thoughts, or it may be completely empty, quiet. Embracing whatever is. And very gently starting to bring yourself now back into your physical body. Maintaining that feeling that you have, that connection that you have. Maintaining the groundedness. The connection with the cosmic energy through your crown all the chakras open, balanced, aligned. Bringing the aura back into a manageable space. About three to five feet around your physical body, maybe even closer. Checking the aura making sure that it's solid, helping you to discern what's yours, what's others, and what's environmental. And now checking in with the top of your head, all the way down through the neck and shoulders, down the arms, into the chest, the belly, all the way down the legs to the feet, wiggling the fingers and toes, stretching your arms above your head, giving yourself a little shake. And whenever you're ready, opening your eyes. So very gently and quietly now, if it feels resonant for you, just leaving this meeting and just writing, seeing what comes out onto the page, trusting the flow, not trying to think about it, just letting it all out. <laughs> 